Hello, my name is Jules, and I'm a senior from Westside. And this is my poem, Against Me, The Lament of LB574. Dear soldiers of the culture war, trans man here is what seems to start every line of poetry as I step onto the front lines, blades of grass swaying as we stand praying for no new bloodshed. I'm a man, simple as that. I shouldn't need carefully worded explanations of ever-shifting terms that are already hotly debated. Courtesy shouldn't be lost for the sake of correctness. Imagine me just trying to live my life. I come across all this hatred just because I'm a self-made man. Contrary to popular belief, testosterone and hormone supplements do not stop you from getting pregnant. They have the chance to decrease fertility, but so does tobacco, alcohol, and poor diet, and I can buy cigarettes, fireball, and Oreos in a gas station. So to me, who's just trying to live my life, it doesn't seem to be about protection. It's just about prevention. Let them grow act. The twisted sense of irony, a cruel, ignorant irony. I have a sick sense of humor. The first time I heard that name, I laughed. Sounds like a headline from Satan's The Onion. <laughs> Let them grow. Kids will be dead in their cages. That is puberty in all stages. During my recovery, I was afraid to show struggle, afraid to show pain, because I didn't want the world to question my decision. I felt I had to show how positive it was. Only the good parts or I was being a bad trans. I shouldn't care, yet media and bad experiences make you start to think you're worthless. What's the best I could hope for? Pity love and table scraps from people who are willing to be with someone like me. Being trans doesn't get easier because people suddenly become more accepting. Being trans gets easier because we learn to deal with their lack of acceptance. I used to tolerate ignorance, intellectually stand up for myself against blatant intolerance, anger, poetry, testimony. Is it bad that I'm so tired of it all? You would be too if you felt that all you could write were laments. There's a quote about the Vietnam War that I found hit eerily home. Don't ever let anybody tell you war is something beautiful or heroic. When people say war is hell, war is hell. Cowards start wars and the brave fight them. What if I don't have the energy to be brave? There are not enough hours in the day to stand in line and testify against every anti-trans bill in America. I feel like the first new blade of grass growing on a war-torn battlefield. Dead, burnt, shriveled brethren scattered around me. Sometimes I don't know whether I'm the dead grass or the new grass. Is the grass still green where Kansas was bleeding? I've never been to Pennsylvania. Does the earth remember Gettysburg as bloody as history books do? Whatever became of the bricks that were thrown through the windows of Stonewall Inn? If not for the memories, battlefields, if not for the memorials, battlefields would just look like land. It's like finding an abandoned house in a forest. It belongs to the vines now. Does that mean I'll eventually heal? Stop throwing myself into the war, highs honed in, only this battle. A battle of rights eventually becomes a war of who's human. I need to remember that those against me aren't after Jules Wiestewald, the singular person who fits a certain discriminated category. They're after all the people they hate calling people, the gays, the transgenders. And we, the gay people and the transgender people, will be there to correct them. <laughs>